Hello and welcome everybody to another episode of SNS PC Helpline. This video is a tutorial for Windows Live Movie Maker. I'm sorry I didn't post this yesterday, I was caught up with something. So, first of all, you open your browser, go to Google, and type in Windows Live Movie Maker Download. And you can download it from one of these links. So once you have done that, you open Windows Live Movie Maker. And now I will give you a quick overview of the software. Here is the preview box. This is where everything plays back as you edit. Here is the editing box, which is where all the editing happens. And here are all the tabs, animations, sorry about this watermark that sometimes happens to me, visual effects, project, and view, and the drop down bar with all these other options. So first of all, you click this box here to import your clips, and you find the clips that you want. I might take this clip and this clip. Once you've found them, click open and they will come into your editing box. Now to, to play back, you press space. Hello everyone. And it will play back. First of all, we'll add a title. You click this button here. Sorry, you click this button here and you can make a title. I will call it Test for YouTube. Sorry, Test for YouTube. You can change the font. I might change it to, you, you go to text tools, change it to Perpetua Tiling MT, change the size up, I can move it, and change the background to red, and change the background to white. When you play it back, it will come up, you can also change the animation of it and stuff. You can change the text once you have done it, and you can also start you can also put it to a precise starting point. So once you've done that, just click away and when you play back, it will come up. So now if you want to transition if you want to transition between the title and your first clip, you click on the first clip and go to animations and click this drop down button over here and you can choose an animation. Hello for this example I will choose page curl bottom right so when you play it back we'll play it hello everyone and it will add the animation now you can split a clip for example if I don't want this center bit you can use this circle here oval to move it around to precise cuts and over here there is a zooming option which gives you a more chance to do more precise cuts so you can go to the place where you want by using this oval so I'm going to go there click M press M on your keyboard and go to the part where you want to cut it next press M now you can delete or do whatever you want with that clip and now when you play it back and I know I know it. and it will play back without that clip you can also add a caption which directs people and tells them what to do. For example, if you're doing a tutorial and you don't think that you said something right, you can also put a caption which will help the viewer understand what you said. So pretend I do it, I want a caption here, go to home and click caption and type what you want. I'm going to type stare at nothing. You can change the font and everything. I change it to green, change the size to 11, wait, change the size to 28. Sorry, it's really windy. I, if you can hear that, I can put it at the top. So now when I play it, you can use this oval again to move it around. Highlight of the year. What is your highlight of 2012? So you can see it comes up. I can also add a credits at the end. I'll say credits and to name. S and S P C helpline. Okay, 
game now when you play it back oh, sorry you can play it back and it will come off you can also add video fx you go up to visual effects and you can add an effect i might add a, a hue color spectrum to my first video hello everyone um and it will add it to the clip i might go to this second clip and add this a sepia tone of 2012 and um merry christmas bye guys okay now you will add the sepia tone if you go to project you can choose widescreen or standard for the normal tvs it is widescreen you can emphasize things and on the video tools you can speed it up for example sorry sorry if you can't see it because of this watermark it, it's not to do with the recorder it's just that sometimes my computer freezes a bit and that comes up so you can change the speed if you're doing like a minecraft video and you did a time lapse you just speed it up and it will speed up you can change the video vol volume so if i don't if i want to mute that you go to video tools video volume drag it all the way down and then it will mute it and it will mute and if you want to add music you can go to home add music and then choose the music file you want i might add gangnam style you can click it and move it to where you want i want to move it to there since that is when i am silent press space and it will start playing and you will automatically cut it at the end of the movie and we'll see if there's anything else you can add a precise time you want it to start if you want it to start at a precise millisecond but um yeah windows i movie make is a basic program but if you would like to start it at the exact precise millisecond in a movie you could you can do that you can preview full screen so it will come up in the full screen preview and you can paste, you can cut, normal stuff. You can click apply to all for the animation so every clip will have the same animation. I might, might, I might add an animation for this clip. I might give it cross bar, diagonal cross out. So when I play it, Christmas. Bye guys. that will happen. So I think I have covered everything. If you do think I have missed something, please post a comment and I will make another video telling you I'm um, redoing it. So, well. So sorry about that. I know that. Oh, well. Wait. Sorry, it's, it's something just got knocked off. Okay, guys, I'm going to come back once I have fixed this. Okay, guys, I fixed it. I'm sorry about that. So once you have done and you want to save it, you go up here. Click save project as first, save it to your desktop or wherever you would like to save it. I'm going to save it as test for YouTube 3. You can, it saves it as a WLMP file. Click save and it will save it. Now to publish it, you click here, publish movie. And this is to publish it to a website, any of these websites. Or if you want to publish it for like computer use, click save movie. And here is a bunch of options you can choose. You can click the recommended for this project, which saves it with the appropriate file sizes and the options that are appropriate for this project. For high definition display, which publishes it in 1080p. For computer, for example, if you just want it for your computer use, burn a DVD, it, it doesn't actually burn a DVD, but it just saves it in a file format that is good for DVDs or for an email which it compresses so you can save it easily on an email and there are a whole bunch of other options but I will not go into that since it takes a while to explain all of them just saying there are Androids, Apple, 
website and audio only. You can create your own and you can publish it for a specific specific type of phone. So I'm just going to click for high definition display. I normally choose that for my YouTube videos. So you click it and it will come up where you want to save it. I'm going to save it to desktop, test for YouTube 3. Per personally, I am not sure which is better between MP4 and WMV. You can choose which file format you like, but I normally go with WMV. Click save and it will start saving your movie. Okay guys, it has done recording. I mean, it has done publishing, sorry. And when it is done, it, when it is done, this box will come up saying your, your video file, test for YouTube or whatever you named it. Sorry, gosh. Your video file has, is done. You can click close if you don't, or you can click play or open folder, which shows you the folder that you saved it in. You can click close or, yep, now go to the place where you saved it. And now you have your clip right here. Mine over here. Here's my clip. You can double click it to play it. And it will come up. Test for YouTube. Hello everyone. Hello. Um, um. And then it will play. So now what you do with your clip is entirely up to you. You may post it on YouTube, send it to a friend, burn it on a disc, put it on a USB and take it to your friend's place. You can do whatever you want with it now. Post a comment telling me if you thought this was helpful and send us a message if you thought that, if you think that I forgot anything. So please rate, comment and subscribe and tell your friends about our channel and boost us up. And again, post a comment telling me if you thought it was helpful. And if there are any problems, please tell me. Thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And thumbs up. And remember, keep computing.